my team's got a lot of dons And we're doing this thing, go check out the songs Man don't care, we shut down the park You can see us on stage like what's going on BBK got a lot going on Skept up, that's my brother, that's my don You can never control how man I'm doing it It's authentic, can't go wrong Can't go wrong Can't go wrong when it's straight from the heart You can't go wrong If it's a real vibe, then you can't go wrong Can't go wrong Can't go wrong when it's straight from the heart You can't go wrong If it's a real vibe, then you can't go wrong Okay cool, so for our first exercise today we're going to be doing a massive compound exercise being bench press. We're going to be doing 6 sets with 2-3 to three minute rest in between sets. Reps wise we're going to be doing 7-7-6-4-3 seven, seven, and on the final set we're going to be doing an AM rep as many reps as possible by aiming for 20-30 to 30 reps. Make sure you push yourself during each set. This one's hard for me, you know what I mean? Oh, yeah, it's tough. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So, oh, you yeah. could have said, bro. Yeah, oh, yeah, so I said spot me. Said, uh, yeah. <laughs> so, yeah, man, make sure you grab a spot for this one if you need to. Because for this next exercise, we're going to be doing a seated dumbbell shoulder press. We're aiming for four sets. In fact, we're not aiming for four sets, you're going to be doing four sets of eight to ten reps with about 60 seconds rest in between each set. You know, apologies for the few nip slips, that's my bad. But either way, for this exercise, we're gonna be turning our shoulders into boulders, so make sure you smash this one out. Yeah man, had to scream help on that one. You know what I'm saying? Put in work, man. You see the veins popping out, they have to put in work. If you're not screaming to help, they're helping. Word to my Germans, you're not putting in enough work. So for this next exercise, we're going to be doing our dumbbell skull crushers. Now, just like the previous exercise, we're going to be doing four sets of eight to ten reps with 60 seconds rest maximum in between each set. Now the key thing here in the dumbbell skull crush is that you want to keep your elbows tucked in as much as possible but as you increase the weight and as you fatigue your elbows are going to start to flare out as you can see mine doing here but the key thing is that you want to keep your elbows tucked in as much as possible to emphasize the triceps Jeez, this next exercise loads of higher cable flies Bars now the workouts get even more intense because this time we're only resting for 30 seconds in between each set and now we're doing five of them of eight to ten reps so make sure you put in that work so for this next exercise we're going to be doing our v-bar push down or you can use a rope or whatever handle or whatever thing you got there they don't really matter and it's the same setage the same repage and the same restage as the previous exercise if they're even real words if not then i made them up and just like probably 90 percent of tricep exercises you want to keep your elbows tucked in to really emphasize the tricep so yeah man smash this one out all right cool so for this final exercise before we move on to our abs we're going to be doing our incline dumbbell rear flyers like here i want to see your arms flying up like wings man you're an eagle up in this thing do you get what i'm saying and it's the same setage in that like before and for this exercise, make sure that when you're bringing your arms up to the top, that you're giving it a nice tight squeeze. Like, look at that back gammon, man. You want to be getting that back. Well, it's kind of like your rear deltoids. But either way, you get my point, man. Make sure you're squeezing it at the top. Oh, man, I don't even like this exercise, man. It takes too long and it hurts my knees, so I have to use a mat. But sometimes you've got to do what you don't like to get the results that you want. So for this next exercise, we're doing ab pull downs, or five sets of 30 reps. So what's that, 150 reps, mad. And make sure that you're only doing 30 seconds rest in between each set. What's the motion fresh out the oven like a Sunday, bros? You can find me swimming in the ocean, sunset, I might drive right in the coast. When it's showtime, jump on the plane and take it. Jeez, the finale, this exercise is mad. This is the ab killer, you know, you feel it the next day. Because you're doing 100 reps in total, 5 sets of 20 with 30 seconds rest in between each set. You know, basically you're doing a decline crunch or a decline sit up or deep crunch or a decline crunch. However you want to call it, don't matter. But you know, arms out all the way, you don't want to be doing no half-hearted thing and all the way in touch of toes. Yeah, you feel this the next day. We've done it. We've completed this push workout. So if you're doing this kind of routine or push pull legs, then I recommend this push workout by Scott Herman. You know, shouts out to Scott. So now enjoy your rest, have a nice recovery, then get back in the gym and put in work. Subscribe to the channel and I'll see you soon.